welcome back to the channel today i want to talk about my devastator build that i've been using for challenge tier 14 and 15 and getting some decent silver runs and some gold runs on specific maps so hit the like button comment subscribe follow me on twitter link is in the video description and all that kind of good stuff so for the longest time i was using my old build where it was all about firepower all about shotguns and using endless mass and things like that and it was a pretty decent build you know i enjoyed it it was a lot of fun but it just wasn't standing up in terms of damage and survivability in the higher end challenge tiers so i moved off my devastator for a while um Played some other things, went on stream, leveled my pyro, and had so much fun with other classes. But then I thought, you know what? I really want to build a bleed seismic um, build for my Devastator. So I came back on with my stream, and we kind of makeshifted a build together. And we came up with something like this. So this is the skill tree that I'm using all the way across the bottom in Seismic Shifter. It's increasing your anomaly power, your cooldowns. Um, your protection skills increases anomaly power by 45% for 10 seconds. We've got more cooldowns. We've got resistance piercing, more anomaly power. We have extending the distance to be considered close range by additional 4 meters. All of these ones down here. Bleed, healing from bleed. And then we have these few over here. So we're just basically going off armor percentages and anomaly power. That's what this build is. The skills that we're using, Earthquake, Golem, Impale. And the kind of rotation that we're using, bang on golem, so you get the buffs from activating golem. Then we hit earthquake twice to do damage and inflict bleed. And then we're using impale on the larger enemies with more health to do more damage to bleed enemies. And that is the rotation you're going for. Now, I have played this a little bit, so my build is a little bit better than it was. But the thing is, is that when we first did this, I pretty much had nothing to go on. And I've put together with my chat a kind of build that i'll briefly touch on here but then i'll show you my actual build that i have now and we were getting through challenge tier 12s and 13s relatively easy mostly silver but then when we started building up our current build it was becoming easier and easier so first and foremost these are two new weapons that i'm using area to the desert which um i've put fortress on so you get 43 percent damage bonus based on your armor so you can see my armor is 191k which means that all damage from every single thing that i use in the game has more damage now the air to the desert has sandstorm so you deal 150,000 damage over five seconds it's like a spinning tornado that kind of traps people in it and kills them well not traps people in it, but it kills them anyway and that does more damage with fortress i then also have the anemoy with fortress on as well but also moaning winds so every time you reload you get 250,000 damage to enemies in a range of eight meters so what i usually do i fire out one bullet prior to even engaging into combat i bring it back to my sandstorm beast ass weapon air to the desert fire and kill people hit sandstorm on them then i run in switch to my nemoy reload cancel the reload and switch back to my air to the desert so i'm getting a big burst of damage but also keeping it unreloaded so i could keep doing it over and over again once it the cooldown has finished which is eight seconds which is a little bit longer than you might think but you know if you get the timing down right you can be doing consistent massive huge damage so we're building mostly around earthquake and impale you really don't need any golem mods because you're just popping that for the extra resistance but also on top of that it puts buffs on you according to your skill tree so building into earthquake we have increases the skill damage by 84,000. you know depending on your level that will change but with an anomaly power build i think that goes a little bit higher and with fortress that goes a little bit higher too and increasing the skill range by 60 percent is very important so you can hit multiple enemies in a long line of enemies so those two really work together well and then on my gloves i have the earthquake can be activated one more time before triggering cooldown and Earthquake inflicts bleed on enemies, which is obviously very important because this is a bleed build. Now, that Earthquake skill could be activated one more time before triggering cooldown. That can be made better with a legendary mod where you can activate it two more times and it dramatically changes the build and just makes it really, really ridiculously powerful. But it's not necessary to get to kind of end game stuff. Now, all of these mods you see across all of these armors, you can use quite easily and get through the higher challenge tiers i just happen to have this legendary armor here 
which has, you know, impale, the skill can be activated one more time. I put that on myself, but it has that power assimilation. So every elite that's present on the battlefield, my anomaly power goes up. But the only reason I put this on is because it had anomaly power, cooldown reduction and skills life leech. And that power assimilation is just a bonus mod. You don't need that mod to be able to do dramatic amount of damage and be able to carry yourself through higher challenge tiers. That is just a bonus for me. Prior to this, I had you know less of the bonus attributes that i needed i didn't have that perk and i was still running through 12 13 quite easily so it's not necessary but it definitely definitely helps and there are other mods you can put on this build to make it even stronger than power assimilation i just found these and used them because they're cool so the other two perks for um impale the damage you know, increase the damage when you use it. And with Anomaly Power, that also increases too. Um, with Fortress, sorry. And then we have Impale. Increase the skill damage by 50% to enemies afflicted with Bleed, Rivers of Blood. Extremely important because when you pop Bleed onto, you know, an Elite, a Captain, a Mother Brood, whatever, the big boys, big girls, enemies, you could do way more damage with your Impale on them. So if you keep your Impale ready to go, pop Bleed on them and then just go to town with Impale while also shooting your guns, you're going to be doing a lot of damage very quickly. Now for the chest piece, I have to have Ice Trap because this chest piece with the bonus attributes I wanted had Ice Trap on it. It's not a terrible perk. It definitely helps in a lot of situations when you get cornered or something like that. But there are better perks to have. I needed damage absorber, so I put it onto this chest piece. Another very important um, mod to have because you know you're raising your armor as well as defending yourself and protecting yourself. You are doing more damage because of the way the build set up. The higher your armor, the more anomaly power you have the more damage you're doing so very important mod to have right there and those are the mods and the build and everything we're using as you can see not everything i have is level 50 especially the two weapons but i can still get through challenge 14 and 15 so even if i had these at level 50 i had the extra earthquake mod i am going to be absolutely annihilating enemies and doing way 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 more damage so this is an insane build so the footage you've seen in the background as we are talking and i'm just going to talk briefly about the build and we'll end up the video um is my first ever challenged tier 15 attempt on the archways of enoch because that's relatively easy to get a gold now in this playthrough you can kind of see the damage that i'm doing the rotation of all of the skills that i'm using how much survivability the build has as well, being able to heal yourself and just fight through anything that's in front of you. But I will say, I slipped into silver, I killed all the last room, got everything done, ready to go, and there were two flying bugs left. And I thought, okay, I'm going to shoot that flying bug. And then I thought he was dead. I turned around to shoot the other one, and I thought, oh no, wait, he's still alive. I turned around, and the stupid bug hit me for half my health and one shot killed me. So I didn't complete this challenge tier 15 just because of how stupidly dumb bugs are in this game. But, you know, if I just paid attention to him not being dead, I would have finished this and got the challenge tier 15 completed. I have no doubt that I would be able to. So, you know, with this build, you can very, very easily, even with a makeshift kind of build, you can get through the 10, 11, 12, 13 quite easily. Then when you get better drops and better bonus attributes, or if you go to... And the shops and buy greens and level them up like my video um, explained yesterday you will be able to get a very very decent build to be able to run f at least four teams anyway so you can start building up your materials and your armors and things of that nature so that you can actually get a and build a perfect build i absolutely love this and so you know for a long time a very much very very long time i was complaining about how devastators just can't do anything in expeditions and they can't stand up and be able to fight at the same level as the other characters were doing but obviously when twisted rounds and all that kind of stuff got pulled back it started to really show that devastator wasn't as bad as i thought it was it's just that all the other builds were ridiculously broken and now when they even it out a little bit devastator actually if you really think about building into seismic is ridiculously powerful and on par with the other classes but you do have to have, still have quite a refined build to be able to challenge 14 and 15s but you know for that kind of middle room between like 8 and 12 you're really going to be able to go far with even a makeshift build so i am so so happy that i put 
all of this together. I got very lucky with legendary drops as well, the Death Shield to be able to get the Fortress mod and, you know, some of the legendaries and just everything that I has happened to me with this build, I've been extremely lucky to reach. And I can't wait to, you know, get the free Earthquakes to make it even better and push forward with this build. Hopefully soon i can get good enough to be able to just get golds on challenge tier 15 and stream them for people to watch because this this class devastator in my opinion is the most fun and most satisfying class to actually play that's my opinion though i'm not trying to push that on anyone else i just feel like the actual way the character works the the kind of rotation of moves how satisfying the moves are to use just has a whole different level of satisfaction to just running around with like twisted rounds or blighted rounds. You know, this actually feels incredible. I haven't really tried Pyro Endgame yet, so that might also be up there. But right now, Devastator for me is just the most fun, amazing class. And I don't want to stretch this out any further. I just wanted to show this off to you guys and thank everyone in my stream chat who helped me build it in the first place. And yeah, I hope it helps if you get to the point where you want to build up your Devastator. I would love to know if you think there's anything more I can change in my build too. Like, let me know in the comment section below. Like button, subscribe, Twitter, blah, 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 all that stuff. Thank you for watching. I have been easy now. You guys have been awesome.